Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, or for this video, I'm going to explain just briefly the differences, uh, the visual differences for a DE, a DE RevUp, HR, and VHR motor. So here we have a VQ35DE, so this is a non RevUp. So um this is the main thing you can look at pretty quickly through pictures um or on <clears throat> through pictures or you know someone's car um this is all you can say like smooth right here and um i'm going to explain to you why i'm saying that it's smooth so this is literally the fastest way you just look at the uh front timing cover and like I said, this is just smooth. There's there's nothing on it really. And I'm gonna show you a DE rev up. So this is a DE, but this is a rev up. So as you can see, it has all the dimples right here. And this also has the um, additional sensors. So on the rev up, obviously, again, you have the uh, dimples right here. You have the sensors for the uh, exhaust cams. The non-RevUp does not have these sensors on the exhaust camshaft uh, sprockets. So the cams are adjustable. The intake and the exhaust are adjustable through tuning on a RevUp. And I'm going to go back to the, D the DE, the non-RevUp, and show you that it doesn't. Hey, is that fresh cakes? Hmm. The Raffle Master. So, as you can see here, there are no sensors for the exhaust cam sprockets. So let's go back to the rev up. And again, you'll see the difference is noticeable just so instantly the sensors are obviously um, colored the plugs and then you have the dimples and that's it there's other um, small differences but that is the fastest way to see the difference okay so here we have a HR motor VQ 35 HR the HR and the VHR uh, at a quick glance, if you don't work on these motors, they look very identical, but they are not. So again, the timing cover, we're going to look at the timing cover. So this is a HR motor 3.5. Uh, the HR motor also has the, um, the intake and the uh, exhaust that is uh, variable. So this is the HR motor. Okay, now I'm going to go to the VHR just to show you. So this is the VHR motor. Um, it's missing a sensor right there. But if when you look at it, it looks pretty similar. So now let's see uh, if we can point out some differences. Alright, so let's go back to the HR motor. So this right here, this has these, uh, these dimples, these indents right here. The VHR does not have that. So let's go look at the VHR. So this is the HR with the dimples on the timing cover. And if you could see, if you could see the VHR does not have those dimples. Um, again, this is just to help you guys if you're looking at pictures or something you know at a quick glance uh, maybe you're trying to buy a motor sometimes you know these online stores or whatever they they don't know these motors exactly because they sell so many different types of motors that they might not know the differences so they might confuse it and maybe um, send you the wrong one but another uh, difference is the VVEL motor so if you can see that through a picture or video or whatever for whatever reason you're curious to know what motor is in that car um, you can just tell 
by the VVEL motor. There's also another one on the other bank, which is right here. Uh, this you're probably not going to see because, you know, the intake manifold is on. So usually you just see this peeking out when it's in the car. Um, so again, so VHR has no dimples and it has the VVEL motor. Yeah. Yeah. All the fresh kicks YouTube, not no, pandemic.